Peace, everybody. What's good? It's our boy, Coach Malachi Williams, and you and I are tuned to New Media Today, USA Boxing. Let's go. All right, everybody, check this out. Now, I was looking at a tweet that um, Tank Davis put out a couple of days ago as it relates to Ryan Garcia. Apparently, you know, Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis, they they, they, they are connected as it relates to they are supposed to be fighting each other in April. I think somewhere around April 16th, somewhere around that time, right? Now, the strange thing is uh, Tank Davis put out a tweet a few days ago basically insinuating that Ryan Garcia is on some kind of PEDs. They actually showed a picture of Ryan Garcia and, and Tank Davis said that, um, you know, on his Twitter page that that boy is definitely on something. You know what I mean? And somebody left a comment below asked, do you think that he's on the juice? Now, the crazy part about it is this. I don't know where this is coming from as it relates to Tank Davis. If you feel that Ryan Garcia is on the juice, I'm pretty sure that you put something in the contract to where that both of you guys will enroll in, in vital testing. You know, you can get tested at any given time, right? I'm pretty sure that, you know, that that um, that um Tank, you you would be enrolled in that because I'm, I, I'm assuming that you are a clean fighter. And I'm assuming that Ryan Garcia is a clean fighter. The crazy part about it is I never heard anything about Ryan Garcia ever being a dirty fighter before pri prior to Tank Davis saying something in that tweet. Never. So a lot of people feel that the reason why Tank Davis is saying this now is because he's having second thoughts and that he's, you know, fear has set in. The reality of the situation has set in, right? That If you're, if you're a Ryan Garcia fan, you're feeling that way. Two-Tone, the superstar, spoke on this as well. Oh! Gervonta Tank Davis trying to get out of the Ryan Garcia fight. That's right. Earlier today, he uh, commented on Ryan's new physique. That's right. He uh, even went as far to say Ryan Garcia is definitely on something, saying that Ryan Garcia ain't never been that big before. What kind of narrative are you trying to push, Gervonta Davis? What are you doing? You fought Mario Barrios at 140, but it seems like you are absolutely terrified of Ryan A. Cy Garcia at 136. Now, I would be surprised if this fight continues to go forward. I would be very surprised. I I'm telling y'all right now, some BS is about to happen, and this fight is going to get canceled. Um, And I don't know. He's saying that he feel that you know, this fight may not happen because of the accusations. Maybe Tank Davis will pull out. I hope not. I don't think so. I, what I what I don't understand is this. I remember when Floyd Mayweather was making accusations that Manny Pacquiao was on PEDs. Manny Pacquiao sued him for defamation. And next thing you know, Floyd Mayweather, he, Manny Pacquiao won that lawsuit. And next thing you know, Floyd Mayweather never said anything. Him or his uncle, R.P. to Roger Mayweather, never said anything about Manny Pacquiao being on PEDs ever again. They never said anything. Um, So my thing is, Unless Tank Davis has some kind of proof or evidence or anything tangible that he can show the people, I don't understand why you feel that way because of his physique. I mean, Ryan Garcia is a young man. He's a big kid. You know, he's not small like Tank, even though Tank is big, even though Tank is small and compact. But Ryan Garcia is taller. I think he's almost six feet tall. You know what I mean? Um, you know, he's still he's, his body's still growing. I think he's like 23 years old, maybe 23, maybe 24. So, you know, um, again, unless Tank has some kind of information, any anything tangible that he can show to people because you're going to come out on the public platform and insinuate that the guy that you signed the contract to fight or not a contract yet but a guy that you agreed to fight is on peds if you're going to come out and say something like that then apparently you must have something tangible and why did you delete the tweet this is why we call you this is why i call tank mr tweet and delete because he'll tweet it and delete it in, in a minute tweet it and delete it in a minute you get what i'm saying so um, hopefully that, you know, Tank is not having second thoughts, which I, I hope he's not. And hopefully that two-tone superstar is wrong in, in, in his assessment. And, and Ryan Garcia even denied it himself by basically saying that, you know, that, that you didn't even ask for him to be enrolled in, in voluntary, um, VADA testing, early, early testing, so to speak. You know what I mean? He said in the tweet right there. So, um, he said that he agreed to everything that Tank Davis said, wanted. You know, Tank Davis wanted to fight at 136 pounds, not 140 pounds, even though he fought Mario Barrios at 140 pounds. But in this particular weight, he's fighting at, at, a, at a catch weight of 136 pounds. So, you know, so apparently Tank Davis is the A side. He's A siding, uh, Ryan Garcia. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. My thing is, don't put out 
things, you know, that maybe not, that's not true about a fight if you don't have any proof of it. And if you, t and, and if you, t and, and if you delete the tweet, then that means that you don't stand on what you're saying, because that's what that means. Uh, when you, when, when you tweet something and, and you delete it, that's like a retraction. You put out a statement, but then you're going to retract from that, what you're saying. That means that you're not standing on what you're saying. So hopefully this fight still does happen. Um, you know, again, if, if Tank has some kind of information that Ryan Garcia is on PEDs, you know, apparently you must do because you did say it. You came out of your, you did say it on your Twitter feed. So if you have some kind of information, please put it out there. Let the people know and show the evidence. If not, don't make the accusations insinuating that, you know, the young man Ryan Garcia is on, on PEDs if you don't have any proof of it. You get what I'm saying? You agreed to fight him. You don't have a contract with him yet. It's not signed. But hopefully we'll see what happens, how it plays out. And hopefully both of you guys will enroll in VADA and, and do the early testing. And so that, that, that way is if Tank is have any kind of doubt in his mind about Ryan Garcia using PEDs and vice versa, then guess what? He get tested. You have no excuses. You get what I'm saying? Other than that, that's it. It's the boy Coach Malachi Williams signing out. New Minutes Today, USA Boxing. We will have Bill Haney on the show today at 3 o'clock. Please tune in. You don't want to miss this show. It's going to be a fire interview. Um, other than that, that's it. You know my motto. I see you guys at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You know my motto. Don't meet me there. Beat me there. Peace. Man, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go. Come on.